Yeah, this is Gaz, and uh, I'm bringing you a video today um, on the update the Jagex snuck in. Uh, it's Monday night, and uh, Jagex has updated the tool build. So uh, if you guys see, uh, I jump into my tool build now, and uh, I haven't upgraded the pickaxe because it has gone up. It has skyrocketed since this update. But as you can see, I'm now going to drag and pick a hatchet in my tool build. Now I can't take that out, so that's uh, three mil down the drain. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess it's a good update. Um, th that is the major update. I'm going to jump back. I'm going to show you guys something. Um, back when tool belts were brought into the game, uh, it was made so that you could only put bronze items on there. And the rationale for that was so that uh, you wouldn't... Uh, it, it would be used as a uh, as-needed kind of thing. Um, you were supposed to you know, rely on your tools in your inventory or equipped and uh, the tool belt was only supposed to be used if you forgot something, say if you're questing and you got to a point where you needed to mine something or cut down a tree or whatever um, you could um, just use the bronze item on your tool belt and it was it was, you know, only as you needed it in a, a, a last resort if you will um, now Jagex has changed that with today's update if I just scroll up so that uh, now you can put uh, up to dragon. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Hatchets and pickaxes all the way up to dragon level. So uh, basically, how it works, it, it works in the same way that dungeoneering um, tools do. Um, in that, it'll act as the highest level item you can use. So let's say you have 21 mining, you can throw a dragon pickaxe onto your tool belt, but it will only act as a mithril pickaxe. Um, as I said, I'm not too sure I like this update. I wish Jagex had stayed with their original idea. Um, this has sent dragon pickaxes and hatchets skyrocketing, but they will crash once you know most people have them on their tool belt. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really like this update. Um, other than that, though, Jagex has actually um, released a whole bunch of other stuff, which is uh, really good in my opinion. Um, a few um, simple fixes like uh, Tokar now being eligible target eligible targets when doing Tazar Slayer task. Um, some monsters being tougher and more aggressive, which is really good, especially for mutated Jinkos, which you could drop way too quickly in my opinion. Um, some other things like Queen Black Dragon being reworked. Um, I haven't been back to her since she had the glitch that basically made her um, drop players really easily. I'm not really sure what was going on there. Um, once I heard about it, I just stopped going. Um, what else? Uh, Calfight King's been reworked so that he hits higher, and so do summon creatures. But you can also hit higher on him. I assume this means that his the, the damage cap on him has been raised, uh, which is you know really good. Um, dragons now vulnerable to bolts rather than arrows, which kind of annoys me because uh, it feels like bows are being pushed out of the game again. Dragons were kind of one of those tasks where it, it was beneficial to have a Zarat bow or a crystal bow or even, you know, one of the standard wooden bows and uh, removing, uh, changing it so that they're vulnerable to bolts rather than arrows kind of uh, pushes uh, the uh, bows out of the game a, a bit more again, which kind of annoys me, as I said. Um, a few other simple reworks and a couple of things that really, really impressed me. Uh, such as brutal green dragons having been made worthy of their title. Basically, what I think this means is that they have become much tougher and will hit much higher than they do currently. Um, to a player who is well equipped, I don't think this would be a problem. But to the bots that currently populate ancient cavern, killing the brutal green dragons, this is a great update because I think it will uh, it will kind of knock them out a bit. And uh, I would recommend going in um, picking up any graves you can. Um, at the moment, because I assume that uh, a few bots will have been dropped by this. Uh, similarly, Grotworms have been made tougher and more effective at dealing damage, which means that the bots that would camp there for hours and hours and hours um, will be reduced in their triplings, and this is, you know, another really good update. Um, something interesting, um, the Cannon, if you upgrade it to either the Gold or the Royal version, um, it increases the can cannibal capacity to 60 or 90. Um, this is an incentive to go and do Artisan's Workshop, I think. And uh, I I've, I've got my gold cannon, so I'm pretty happy with this update. I think it's a great idea. And finally, the thing that impresses me the most, um, 
if you die, the prompt indicating uh, what world you died on, like say you DC, uh, or your browser closes, or whatever happens, suddenly you you're logged out. You're on the you don't know what world you're on. Um, this will basically um, prompt you to the right world, so you can go and loot your grave, which is a great idea because I know a couple of people who have lost quite a bit of money um, because they forgot what world their gravestone was on. Um, so you know, good work, Jagex. That that is a very good update. Um, as you can see, there are actually quite a lot of updates, and this isn't even all of them. If I jump into the patch notes archive, you can see there are a lot of updates. So if you guys want to kind of check them out, you can jump over to the patch notes archive, which is uh, in the general forums, uh, general section of the RuneScape forums. Um, jump to the last page, and you'll be able to see the 17th of June updates. Um, I would recommend you do that. Um, the patch notes are usually pretty interesting, and it looks to be quite a lot of interest. Um, you know good stuff on here, um, including this, it's like 16 different variants of the fire corpses, finally that'll save me a bit of bank space, <laughs> anyway, um, you guys can go and check this out if you want to see the rest of them, um, give me some idea of what you think of the uh, update to the tool belt, if you think that Jagex should have stuck to their word and uh, stayed with just the, uh, the bronze items on the tool belt. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video off there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment, um, or, you know, tell your friends to come and check out the video if you liked it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys probably sometime during this week. Alright, see ya.